just got handed a, a carrot. Uh, Mr. Ramper is known as the carrot, pretty much the carrot man in Alaska here. Everybody asks for his carrots, and he just handed me one fresh out of the ground. Now, this is incredible. It's so sweet and flavorful. It's worth flying all the way to Alaska, or even driving to Alaska to taste it. Mm, thank you. Very good. 17, my father planted about an acre of carrots to begin putting my sisters and I through college. So I've been raising carrots for about 40 years. And Rempel carrots have become, the stores literally call me in the fall and say, are you bringing them or when are you bringing them? People ask the produce managers for Rempel carrots. My wife and I moved down from Kotzebue, where we had met, and uh, took over this farm that I grew up on. I was four when I moved here from another place in Palmer, so I've lived in Alaska all my life. I'm a native. Um, the soil here is wonderful sandy loam, but not very nutritious or fertile as a, as, to start with. When I was a kid and we raised carrots for me to go to college, it, Dad used chemical fertilizer and uh, a little bit of herbicide and pesticide to keep away weeds and worms. But in 1990, when I took over, I didn't like spraying because I had been part of a big company and I knew about protecting yourself from chemicals. So I didn't like donning all the gear to protect myself from something that supposedly was okay later. And organics were kind of becoming popular then and I looked into it and I found that Alaska has very few pests and we have a wonderful thing called fish bone meal that comes out of our bottom fishing industry. And so I was able to build the soil. I did a side-by-side -side test of chemical fertilizer and fish bone meal on potatoes and found that the yield of marketable potatoes was way above what it was with the chemical. So I began the switch to organic and actually helped start Alaska Organic Association in 90. Nine, and became one of the first farmers in Alaska to be certified organic. And I've watched my soil grow and become brown and smell different. And I've watched the robins come back and kill the cutworms along, patrol for cutworms along the sides of the field. Really fun to watch in the spring. And the yields increase and my density of crop increase and disease subside. And it's just been fun to watch. When my father came here in 1959 and began to look farming this land, or looking at this land, he saw the sandy, silty sandy loam that is in the, the San Joaquin Valley of California, where he was 14 when he moved up here. And he said, that's the land I want. I had no idea about how wonderful that soil was until I began to farm in 90. 1990, but Dad farmed conventionally. He cleared the land conventionally. He took a dozer and peeled off the trees and shoved it into a stump row. As I've cleared land, I've carefully have picked out the stumps and left as much topsoil as I possibly can and burned the stumps so I get the potassium. And I find that the land I clear is far more productive immediately. It, uh, the, my, the organic matter is up higher than it was in the older fields that have been farmed a long time. I continue to add horse manure, but another big plus of the farming organically up here is the pristine environment. My water is clean, 40 feet down, all I want, and anywhere I want to poke a hole. The air is clean. I mean, on a clear day, you can see 150 miles up here. Mountains 150 miles away are visible. Don't think you see that very many other places in the world.